Hi and welcome to Her Many Face. I'm Bethany and today we're going to be doing something different. Today we're going to be painting Gamora because Gamora is green and today is still St. Patrick's Day. I hope I get this video out in time so you guys can enjoy it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, first things first, I think I have to get my hair out of my face. The funny thing with French braids is I can only do my braids inside out. I think that's hilarious. I haven't picked my wig yet. That's one. We are working with two cameras today. What do you think? You think it's good? Let me know in the comments. Alrighty then. So I'm going to throw on a wig cap already this early in the game just to try to keep my hair off of my skin. Now with Gamora, the most famous version is of course the one from the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I personally prefer the comic book version of her. I'm not as good at the Marvel comics for like knowing which version. We're doing the version where she has the gold around the eyes. I seem to recall it was really hard to find a close-up. The other thing with this version of Gamora from the comic book, she has varying hair, but what I can say is that for most of the comics, she does have the gold around the eye area, and that's what we're going to go for today. Okay, so this is the green I'm going to be using on my body. Now the hard part is picking the gold. Golds can be really finicky, so I'm going to do some samples. There's so many different kinds of gold that you can get. Some that are more yellow, some that are more brassy. Finding the gold that you want is um, it's an interesting process. Okay, so my skin is already prepped. So I have my puck here and the water. I'm just going to spray. This is one of my favorite kabuki brushes. I'm pretty hard on my brushes and they can kind of become unglued and come apart. So now I'm just going to mix this all together and get on a quick little base coat. Oh, I forgot to draw where I want the goal. Stakes were made. Probably have to even it out as I go. I find going in circles gives an easier blend than like doing lines. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to take this brush and start packing on the white that I will press some gold onto and hope that it works. Honestly, I don't know. I think my biggest worry right now is the fallout because it's a loose gold. I can always start over if this doesn't work. I'm gonna take my little metal mirror and dump some on it. Oh no. This is the same gold I used when I painted myself gold. So there's little hearts and little stars. I'll try not to get those. I'm gonna tip my head forward so if it does fall off of my eye area, it can um, not go on my face. That works pretty good. I'm gonna try using the same brush. Do we think this is working? I think so. It's hard to tell. <laughs> I feel like this is a little more translucent than I want it to be. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I think we're gonna start with the shading now. I feel like I could even go into some yellow. It looks so blotchy. I have faith, I have faith in the process. I feel like this red would make an awesome contour. Oh, we've come this far. I think if I go over it again with this dark green. Picking up some more of that red. Going back into that green. I think I'm gonna use the same brush that I was using to highlight. And I'm gonna bring some contour to the nose. 
I don't know why my nose went this way, but it did. That went too deep, too quick. Well, a crooked nose is not the end of the world. I think what I'd like to do is just build up this eye area. Just building it up with the same yellow, to be honest. I do think that helped. I still think it's retaining its gold-like features. It looks less patchy to me. I'm trying to be very careful not to just like rub it too much because I don't want to take the gold off and I'm just like patting it and packing it over top. Just throwing some eyeliner on, getting that look done. Okay, I'm just gonna take the excess off of my lips. Now I have this Fenty dark green lipstick. Where'd that lipstick go? Whoa. I just had it. I just had it in my hands. How did I lose it? What the heck? Oh, standing up right in front of my face. I'm gonna throw on some highlighter, I think. Got some emerald green. That is blinding. Incorporate it into the hairs. always the inner eye corner for me that doesn't sit. All right, I'm gonna finish this lash and then I'm gonna change into my new outfit and I'll be right back, okay? This is a normal, totally normal way to paint your arms and try to protect your costume. They even do this kind of stuff on TV, okay? I know I look like a green Pennywise, but uh, totally normal. Oh, I think I uh, did not do that well. Okay, I think I'm leaning towards this one. I think this one has potential. Yeah, the other one I have is like a purple blue color. So I think, I think that's just not gonna work. I do have some extra costume pieces these gold skulls that she usually has on her outfit. Maybe I'll just put it up here. I did want to add some detail. I painted it with, this is like a crafting foam that I use, and then I painted it with two coats with this crafting paint. So I'm just picking up some black eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna add it to deepen the holes, the eye sockets. Well, that looks kind of cool. So this is without the black and with the black. I think just as a costume piece, it stands out a bit more if I add that shade, shadowy to it. So I do feel like that worked. And I already had these made from my Mystique costume that I did quite a few years ago. So I guess that helps. Uh, so I'll just attach these two and paint my hands and I'll be right back. The lazy cosplayer uses tape. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my making of Gamora. I hope to see you on another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love to read comments. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye!